Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you all about WooCommerce shipping. So in today's tutorial, I will try to cover the all possible ways for WooCommerce shipping which we can add to our e-commerce website. So for this tutorial, I have divided our shipping calculation in three simple steps. First one, the shipping zones and methods. The second one is shipping rates. And here for the shipping rates, three type of flat rate we will find flat fee per order, flat rate per item and percentage based shipping. And the number three shipping classes. Now go ahead for the steps one shipping zones and methods. So now I'm going to the WooCommerce and settings. And from here you can see the shipping tabs. But before going here from the general tab, if I scroll down, here we will find the selling location. So from here we can select some specific countries where we want to sell our products. So this can be sell to all countries or sell to specific countries. So I'm selecting United States and here we can add multiple countries. For now I'm selecting only once and then shipping location. So here we can also add a different location for shipping but the default one ship to all countries you sell to. So this is the easiest one. I'm making it default and now save changes. And now I'm going to the shipping tab and from here we have to create a shipping zones. So going to add new zones and zone region. So when you click on this input field here we can see the United States and below this we can see all states on United States. So from here we can select the country or we can select any specific states. For example here I am selecting the California and we can also select multiple regions from here and the zone name I am also typing California and now from bottom area shipping methods so here we have to create some shipping methods here is several options flat rate free shipping and local pickup so local pickup will work only when customer receive products from your shop and otherwise we will use the flat rate or we can use the free shipping so for now i'm selecting the flat rate and add shipping methods and after that going to again flat rate and here by default the cost is zero so i'm selecting a specific price like five dollar and the tax status our shipping will be taxable or not so if your shipping will be taxable you can enable this or i'm making it disabled for now and save changes so the shipping cost will be five dollar for california state and if the shipping rate will be different for a different state that case we can create a different shipping zone for example i'm going again to the shipping zones and add shipping zone this time we can select a, another region for example here i'm selecting the alaska and the zone name alaska and add shipping method flat rate add shipping method and now again click on this flat rate and from here we can select a different pricing for this area so here i'm selecting seven and tax status none and save changes so here i show you the very basic way to add the shipping methods but usually we don't do this way most of the time now if i check my shop going to visit store and from here I'm selecting one product and going to add to cart and now if I go to the view cart so we can see our shipping rate is five dollar and our location is now California and if I change the address from California to Alaska and update we can see our flat rate is changed to seven dollar so this shipping rate will work per order and if we order multiple product that case the shipping cost will be same but we want the shipping cost will be different when we ordered multiple products for example here if i change the quantity to three 
or for now I'm adding two and if I change the update card we can see our shipping rate is same seven dollar so this case we can set a different rule flat rate per item so again going to my settings and for California I'm again going to my shipping zones and or you can go for Alaska and going to the flat rate so we can set the cost this way so the quantity qty in this third bracket then in two and we can set a flat rate like five so this time our cost will be five dollar per product and now if i save changes and if i refresh our cart page we can see our shipping rate is now 10 so we have ordered two product and per product price is five dollar and for two item it's showing the five into two so ten dollar is showing here and we can also change this method in a different way like this so this means it will be the ten dollar and for per item here will be add two dollar so now if i save changes and refresh this page so you can see our flat rate is now showing the $14 so $10 and for two product 2 into 2 so it's now showing total $14 and now I'm changing a another third way percentage based shipping so that case we can change this quantity to cost and we can make it to 10% so this case our shipping price will be the 10 percent of our total cost so let's see now save changes and now if i refresh this page we can see our total price is 200 dollar and the flat rate is the 10 percent of 200 dollar that's the 20 dollar now i will show you the another method free shipping so again going to the settings page and from alaska going to add a new method from here i'm selecting the free shipping and add shipping method and again click on this free shipping and here we will find several options a valid free shipping coupon a minimum order number a minimum order amount or a coupon a minimum order amount and a coupon so i'm selecting the simple one a minimum order amount and here we can select 300 so when our minimum order will be 300 the shipping cost will be free and finally the coupons discount so apply minimum order rule before coupon discount so i'm checking this one and save changes and now again going to the card page and from here if i add the three product and now going to update the card now our total price is 300 and we can see the free shipping options is enabled so from here we can check this free shipping and then go ahead so here i have show you few simple methods you can apply which one is work for you and now i'm going for the steps three shipping classes so for that i'm going to the shipping class and we usually use these shipping classes for different kind of product for example we can use a different class for bulky product or we can use for cheapest product or high rated product so now going to add shipping class and from here we can add a shipping class name for example here I am adding bulky goods and here is the slug name we can skip this and the description here we can type something more details and save shipping classes and for now first if i go to any product going to this page and for example for this product if i open this product in a new tab and going to edit product and now i'm scroll down and here is the shipping option so from here shipping class we can select the class to bulky goods and now if i change it and now if i go to the woocommerce settings page again and going to the shipping zones going to this alaska and now if i click on this flat rate we can see here is some new field added so these are coming from our shipping class 
so we can add a additional price for this bulky goods so for example here is the default pricing is 10% of our total cost and here we can also add additional $20 for this bulky class and then no shipping class cost we can skip this one and calculation type here is per class or per order so this $20 will work for per class how many product we will set under this class or per order so I'm setting it now per order and save changes and now if I refresh the cart page again so we can see our price is increased by $20 so this $20 is coming from our shipping class. All right, so I have already explained the main three steps for shipping. And finally, I will show you something more specific, like the shipping rates can be different according to their weights or according to their price. For example, we can set a different shipping price when we set the price from zero to $50 and a different shipping price for $50 to $100 and also similar way for product weights. So let's see for that first I'm going to add a new plugin going to plugin and add new and from here I'm searching for WooCommerce shipping gem and this is the plugin WooCommerce advanced shipping by gem plugins and I'm going to install this one and activate and now again going to the WooCommerce and settings and going to this shipping tab and for example this time I'm going to add a new shipping zone and from here I'm selecting Florida and zone name I'm also typing Florida and now if I go to add shipping method so this time we'll find a new options table rate. It's coming from our new plugin which we just installed now. And add shipping method. And now if I go to this table rate and here they are offering their pro version. We don't need this pro version. For now we are only going with the free version. And now if I go to the add new and from here first I'm going to enable in this one and method title we can type anything for now I'm typing for Florida and tax status we can make it to not taxable and condition so here we can add different conditions so per weight or per price for now I'm selecting the price and the minimum price from zero and the maximum price is 50 and for that our shipping rate will be $10 and now I am adding a another condition this time also the total price and the price from 51 to 200 and the shipping rate will be $5 and also another one add new rate and the price then price from 201 to here I'm setting a big number for example 999 and infinity so that means the price more than 200 and the shipping rate that case will be three dollar and now if I save changes and now if I refresh our card page and also changing this address to Alaska to Florida and update and now we can see the shipping cost is $5. If we check our condition now, we can see the shipping rate is $5 when the price is from 51 to 200. So now our price is 200 and that's why our shipping cost is $5. And now if we add more products, for example, 3 and update cards. So now you can see our price is more than $200 and so our shipping cost is decreased to $3. So we can see our condition is working and we can also set the similar condition for different weights. So I hope you understand the basic concept how you can use this plugin to customize our shipping rates. So here is all for today. If you want to know more about an e-commerce website, I have an another tutorial about how to make a complete e-commerce website in WordPress. 
so you can also check that tutorial in that tutorial i have explained all about e-commerce website how to upload different kind of products how to add payment system how to calculate shipping how we can add coupons and all necessary stuffs i will leave that complete tutorial link in my description so you can check from there and finally if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial